Does your white path project have multiple workflows? And there is some values that are almost used across the whole project and you have to create arguments over and over again to pass these values to the workflows. And you like to avoid that and instead share these values globally across the whole project? If so, stay with me until the end of this tutorial. Hello, hi Marcel, and on this tutorial we will learn how to use variables and constants globally across the entire YPath project without having the need to use arguments to pass the values of these variables to workflows. So here we have a blank project with only one workflow. Uh, let's just get started by creating a second workflow. And here we have it. So now we have two workflows. And so usually to pass a value to a workflow that it's invoked. So let's say that we'll invoke this workflow on the main workflow. If we want to pass some values, uh, we have to use arguments. So we will here invoke the workflow. Now let's say uh, that uh, we want to pass a variable that we have on the main workflow and uh, let's just create it so let's create the variable str text and let's just set a default value just some text for example and so if you want to pass the value of this variable to this workflow usually we have first to create an argument on this workflow so for example in underscore str text and the direction needs to be in so to receive a value uh, from this workflow on this case so let's just save here the changes and now if we click on import arguments we can pass this value and now we can here use a log message and we can here see the value of this argument that uh, it's passed here on the main workflow so let's just run here to see and so we can see that the value was passed successfully to the workflow that was invoked on the main workflow so it got the value of this variable str text and so here on the log message we displayed the value of this argument value that came from uh, this variable so most of the times there are variables that we use almost on the entire project for example the config dictionary that exists by default on the read framework so having to create and use arguments every time we want to pass these variables to each new workflow it's not the best thing but fortunately we can now avoid that with global variables or global constants. So global variables and global constants are basically variables that are accessible on the entire project. So we can access them on niche workflow of the project. So we don't need to create arguments to pass the values of these variables to certain workflows. Now, just a remark about the difference between global variables and global constants. With the global variable, we can always modify, change its value. While with the global constant, we can't uh, change its value once the variable, uh, the constant, is initiated. So that's the main difference, and we'll see it in practice here on this tutorial. So. Let's get started by creating and use our first global variable. So to create a global variable, let's here open the data manager panel. So it's already open here. And now to create the global variable, let's here open the variables and click on your variable or just click here on the new button. And now let's click on new variable. Now let's define the variable name. So for example, str global bar. 
So here we define the type of the variable, if it's text, number, true or false, so if it's a boolean, so let's set text. And here we can see scope, so here we can define the scope of the variable, if it's only the main workflow, or if it's global, a global variable, so let's set as a global scope. And now we can define here the default value, so here let's enter value from global variable and let's press the OK button. So we have here our global variable created. So let's just do here a test. So first let's invoke here, let's use a log message on the main workflow and let's print the value from this global variable. And now Let's just copy this log message and paste it also on the our second workflow. So we can see that we aren't getting any error about the variable not being accessible, and that's because it's a global variable, so we can access it and use it on the entire project. So let's just run our process, our automation. And here we can see first the log message from the main workflow and then here the log message from the second workflow that we have. So we can see that we can access globally uh, this variable on our workflows. Now let's just try to change the value of this global variable. So for example, here let's use an assign on the main workflow after the log message. Now let's call here the global variable and let's just change the value to value changed just to test. Now let's run again and here we can see that was changed the value successfully from the global variable. Now let's see uh, the global constant. So as I said before, uh, with constants we can change its value. So once the constant is initiated, we can't change it. We can't change its value. So let's click here on new constant. And let's define the constant name, str global constant, type text. And here let's define the default value. You can't change my value. And now let's here press OK button. So let's just here change here on this log message to print instead the value from the global constant. So here let's do the same on the second workflow. And let's just run to see if it works. So as we can see here, the two log messages. So now if we try here on the sign to change the value from the constant, we will get an error. So let's see. And here we can see the error. So uh, here uh, we can see some strange log error message, but basically what it means is that we can't change uh, the value from the constant. So and that's the main difference between the global variable and global constant. With global variables, we can change its value across the project, while the constant, once it's initiated, we can't change it. So the, its value, it's not modifiable. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. And also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you'll get notified on each new tutorial we listen on the channel.